Welcome back, friends. This is the Yamaha DGX 530. I'm a little bit DGX'd out lately, but let's see how this one goes. Since we've done quite a few DGX models lately, I'm going to review this one a little bit differently. Rather than playing you all of the XG sounds that you've heard many times before, we're going to go through a lot more of the automated processes, such as the built-in rhythms and demo tunes. mixing here, we'll look more closely at that in a moment. One of the salient features is lessons combined with on-screen musical notation. Let's try to follow it. Okay, let's try a lesson with full accompaniment. Okay, it's waiting for me to do something. Now it's slowing down, waiting for me to catch up, which is probably not gonna happen. So that's lessons, too hard for me. Here's some cheesy electric piano. And some breezy Chopin. The display is big and very informative. Here's some shots from the demo screens. Well, the graphic images are a bit rough, but you get the idea. This demo incorporates the harmony function. Listen carefully to the lead flutes. So when a rhythm is playing, you can use the harmony function to create harmonies with your lead sound. beautiful piece I'm going to show you some more of that track mixing function this is a great 
great way to isolate interesting parts of the composition. Let's listen to some rhythms on their own. Tap tempo control. Bit fiddly, let's get this right. There you go. Oh, okay, so that's established our tempo. Let's try another beat. You can set the DGX 530 so that when you choose a rhythm, it automatically chooses an appropriate sound. Though sometimes it's questionable, like this hip hop beat with orchestral strings. So that's the strings that come with that beat. Now I'm gonna play it with its automatic accompaniment. Let's go Latin. As you can see here, the track mixing works with the preset songs, but not with the preset rhythms. Of course, there's always some weird stuff to enjoy. Lots of sound effects. And when you want your grand piano back, it's just a one touch thing. You'll also find the layer function over here. Piano joined by strings, you can choose your second layer. So by default this EP gets a synth pad, but there are 499 other sounds that you could choose to blend with that electric piano. And when you've got a sound or a combination that you want to access quickly, you can store in any of five banks, two sounds in each bank. So there's my EP and my piano. Different topic now, it's really important to note that this keybed is not weighted. Graded, but not weighted. And that really is a big disappointment with the DGX 530. It has the feel more of a home keyboard, not only in the weight of the keys, but also in the way it operates. You can see here I'm navigating through the various sound options in the function menu, where you'll also be disappointed to find that there are no real synth options such as attack and decay or any serious effects. But we've got pitch bend. And a very nice set of speakers. fades away with a really nice acoustic realism. Panning over to the back now. Power is right next to the sustain pedal socket. Over here is the headphone socket with USB communications. This is where you put your memory stick to save anything you've created yourself and a contrast dial. So yet again we see the basic XG set from Yamaha. It's a good competent set of sounds. It's just getting a bit old and tired and I for one am 
quite tired of reviewing it over and over again. It's a bit big for your average home keyboard user, but a piano teacher isn't going to like it when you present them with a non-weighted keyboard action. Anyway, thanks for watching Gearfax today. Let me know what you think of the DGX 530 in the comments.